Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a grid using QGIS. On my map, you can see I have a basic polygon, which happens to be Los Angeles County boundary. So I'm going to create a grid around this. And uh, to get to the tool, we could go up to Vector, Research Tools, Create Grid. Otherwise, you could also get that tool from going to Processing Toolbox. And if you type in create grid, it will show up this way as well. If I double click on that, I'll come up with this create grid window. So we're gonna, there's a couple different types of grid that we could create. It's like a point line or a polygon. And I'll run through a couple of these real quick with you. And over here is the grid extent. So we could either calculate it from an existing layer, which would be our Los Angeles County layer, or the map canvas extent, which is this down here, or we could draw on the canvas such as this. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll, we'll select a point and we will calculate from the layer, Los Angeles County. Now the spacing, this will be in degrees. So to show you a couple examples, we could say 0 0.25, 0 0.25. We're going to keep the vertical spacing. Um, I'm sorry, the horizontal overlay and vertical overlay just the way they are. We'll make sure that our projection is the same as um, our sheet file here. And to show that, we got a right clicked, went to properties and source. And I can see right here that it is matching. Okay. Now it's defaulted to create a temporary layer, or you could designate uh, a place to save it. But right now I'm just going to do the temporary layer. So once we have that, we could click on run. Just go and close this out. And you can see I have my points. Now let's do it again. I'm going to open up the create grid over here. Um, I'm sorry, go to vector, research tools, create grid. Now we're going to select line this time. Again, the extent we're going to do from that shape file. We'll do the same horizontal and vertical line spacing. And we'll run, close, and there are my lines. And let's just do another one. Let's do the polygons. So again, vector, research tools, create grid, rectangle. Select my polygon, do the same spacing here. So two, five, zero, two, five and run and close so you can see that i have temporary files here indicated by this little icon and what you do is just simply right click and export save as or at the very beginning i could um, go over here where create temporary layer i get again just say save to file So those are my three different ways to create a grid from a point, line, and polygon. Hope that was helpful. If you like that, please uh, leave a comment. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.